So in a recent video, I showed you guys my exact 30 day plan to getting your first 100 sales on your first month on Etsy. And one of the tips that I mentioned in that video was to make sure that you have really attractive listing covers. That way you can stand out against the competition on Etsy. I noticed that I had a few questions on that video asking for more information on how to make attractive listing covers. So I thought I'd just go ahead and make a video tutorial showing you guys my exact step-by-step -step process of making listing covers from start to finish. So in this video, that's what I'm gonna do. So as you probably know, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I literally do everything in Canva. So before we head over to Canva and actually make our listing covers, we need to make sure that we know the correct design, size, and dimension to choose on Canva for our new project. This step is super important, especially for digital products, because if the listing covers for our digital products are distorted or cropped really weird, it's going to give potential buyers the idea that our products are rushed, incomplete, or unprofessional. And that can hurt our shop's overall conversion rate, or the rate of people who see our products who decide to actually buy our products. We want our listing covers to show up on Etsy like this, not like this. There's some conflicting information on the internet about exactly what size to choose for your Etsy listing covers, but the one that I use for my shop is 2700 pixels by 2025 pixels, and that works perfectly for me. Now, if you see me looking down, this is because I'm actually creating this listing cover live with you on this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and log on to Canva so that way we can get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and create a design in Canva, and I'm gonna select a custom size. So like I said, that size is 2700 by 2025. For the sake of this video, I'm making a listing cover for a digital product that we created together in another one of my video tutorials, which was a baby shower invitation. So if you want to see that tutorial for actually creating the digital product from start to finish, I'll link that in the description below. So you can watch that and also download that template for free. So I have my baby shower invitation and this is going to end up being my listing cover. So the very front page of my listing. Now I've seen some digital product sellers on Etsy take a screenshot of their digital product and let that be the cover. A lot of beginners sellers make this mistake and these products typically don't sell well if you stage them like that so I always recommend creating mock-ups and a mock-up is basically just when in your listing covers you show an example of the product being used in real life so for example if you're selling like a print-on-demand t-shirt you don't want to just put up a picture of the design that's on the t-shirt you want to take that design and drop it onto an image of someone wearing that t-shirt that way the buyer can see the t-shirt actually in use even if you're not selling the physical t-shirt you're yourself, right? So that's the same thing we're going to do with this baby shower invitation. Now this baby shower invitation is designed to be an evite. So the purpose of the invitation is for it to be sent digitally. So I'm going to use this baby shower invitation and I'm going to put it on a phone or a tablet or a digital mock-up of some sorts. That way buyers can envision themselves sending and receiving this baby shower invitation. Okay, now all I need to do is actually pull the digital product that I'm making the listing cover for and drag and drop it onto my design. So in order to do that, I'm going to look at the black toolbar on the left hand side of Canva and I'm going to click the uploads button which is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the design that I want to use which is this baby shower template right here and now I have my baby shower template on my design. Let's go over to Etsy and look at some examples of some different listing covers. So I'm going to type in baby shower invitation that way we can see some of the listing covers. And as you can see, a lot of these designs are printable, but even though most of the sellers themselves are just selling the digital version, they're not selling the printed card itself, they still have images of the card being used. And that's because it makes it easier for buyers to envision themselves using that product. So this one is a really good example right here. So even though all the buyer is receiving is a digital download, this seller went ahead and created a mock-up where they put the digital download that they created onto a phone. So that's exactly what we're gonna do with this listing. So we have our baby shower evite right here but how do we actually get that evite onto a phone without taking a picture of our own phone well canva makes that super easy so all you have to do is go over to your toolbar right here and hit apps and then i already have it pulled up here but you would just type in mock-ups into the search bar and then you click the first one that pops up that says mock-ups and as you can see, there's so many different designs to choose from and we want a phone, right? So this category right here says smartphones, select see all, and then you have all these different smartphones to choose from. You don't wanna choose these two at the top because this would put the picture on the back of the smartphone where the camera is and we're not creating a phone cover. We're creating a digital download that's gonna pop up on someone's phone. So we want a mock-up that shows the actual phone screen itself. So I'm just gonna scroll down and select one that I like. I think this one looks fine. And now this 
next step is super easy. I'm just going to drag and drop my image until I see that teal box around the phone and I'm gonna release it and then boom. Now I have a mock-up of my digital download right here on Canva. So if I stopped where I was at and I just went ahead and posted this on Etsy, it might get one sale if I'm lucky, but I don't wanna do that, right? I wanna make the background super nice and attractive. That way potential buyers are more intrigued and inclined to actually purchase this digital download. So I'm just gonna play around with the backgrounds until I find one that I like. I want it to kind of go with the colors that are on my download, but I want my actual Evite to stand out against the background. So even though I want my background to be nice and to go with it, I don't want it to be more colorful than the actual Evite itself. So the cover page is the first page that buyers can see on your listing. So you wanna make sure that this page is super attractive and professional looking. You wanna make sure that it would be appealing to the average person in your target audience, but you also wanna to try to stand out against the crowd. If your products look exactly like everybody else's, they're not gonna catch anyone's eye and it's gonna be harder for you to get sales on those products. So the goal of the very, very first page of your listing cover is to do two things. You wanna show off the quality of your product and you also wanna show off the value of your product. So I have the cover page for my listing Thing all created. I really just wanted it to stand out and look pretty and I wanted the background to be a little bit more muted and subtle and natural. That way the first thing that catches a buyer's eye is this bright pink baby shower invitation that I created. So now that we have our very first page done, we're not done yet. We need to add a page because while our cover page reeled in our potential buyers with a really nice look, the first thing that they want to know when they actually click on your product is what is the value of your product? So what makes your product actually worth buying compared to the other other options that they have on Etsy. So the second page of my listing cover is going to mainly focus on value. So what's included in the product? What is the buyer getting in the product? And what are some great features of the product that a buyer should know to persuade them to want to make the purchase? In my Etsy listings, I like for my second page to be a graphic that tells buyers exactly what they're getting because chances are if a buyer is actually clicking on that listing and looking at the second page on your listing, they like the way that your product looks enough to buy it. So now they're just in the phase where they're inspecting the listing to determine if it's valuable enough for them to actually buy the product as opposed to looking somewhere else for a better value. So I want the very first page after showing off my design to show off how valuable my product is. So some things that I think that make my baby shower template really valuable are that the template is fully customizable, buyers are gonna receive the template instantly, and the template was made using Canva, which makes it really easy to customize. And because it's an Evite, the buyer can easily share it with family and friends. So I'm gonna take all these features that are great about my product and I'm going to highlight those features on my what's included page. I don't want my what's included page to look too different from my cover. So I'm going to duplicate my cover so I can just edit it to create my second page. So I'm just going to go ahead to the top right here and click duplicate page. And then I'm ready to go ahead and make my what's included page. So I'm going to get rid of these little plants here for now. And I'm going to drag my mock-up over to the left. That way I have room over here on the right to talk about what's included in the download. A square background here would be useful. That way I can kind of get rid of this background that I've created and have a blank slate to kind of tell buyers what's gonna be included in the download. That way they can read it easily and it looks professional. The first thing that I'm gonna do is just type out a title for this page, which is what's included. So I just picked a font that was easy for customers to read. And now I'm just gonna list out the features that are included in my download. So like I said, the download is customizable. It's an instant download, it's made with Canva. And I also wanna highlight that it's easy to share. So I'm just gonna give some examples of where customers could share this template. Okay, so now I'm just playing around with my what's included page to make sure that the dimensions of everything look right and to make sure that it looks professional and attractive. So I ended up deciding that I didn't actually like the big white box that I chose just because it looked a little bit too blank and weird. I thought that it might be easier for my potential customer to digest the information that I'm giving them if I separated the boxes just to emphasize the number of features that my digital download has. I just duplicated my boxes, separated them and then resize them so that way everything looked even and then I had to change my title so I ended up putting a shadow effect that way the title kind of stood out from the background and after I did that I had to adjust the spacing of all of my text in my boxes as you can see those little pink numbers will pop up on Canva to let you know that each of your elements are evenly spaced apart which I really like
And then the more that I looked at my what's included page, it just felt unfinished and I didn't really like it. So I had the idea to find an icon to represent each of the features of my product. So I found the Canva logo and I thought that was really cute and colorful. So I put that next to the made with Canva box. And then I found a download icon and I put that next to the instant download box. Now the 100% customizable icon was a little bit more challenging for me because I couldn't figure out exactly what to type in or what I wanted. When I found this pencil icon, I thought it was a good idea to use that, but I didn't like how similar it was to the Canva logo. So I was trying to look for one that was like a different color. I ended up finding this black one that I really liked, but I hated that the middle was see-through because when I put it next to my 100% customizable box, you could kind of see all the way through to the very back of my design and I didn't like that. So I had to get a little bit resourceful and I duplicated that white box and I sent it all the way to the back. That way it looked more like a sticker instead of having a see-through middle and that looked fine to me. And then I thought about putting the social media logos on my last box, but I found this little share sticker and I thought that looked a lot better and it wasn't too busy so I went ahead and put that there and then as I looked at my finished design I thought the icon next to the 100% customizable box was a little bit too harsh so I just wanted to change the color to make the page look better okay so now I have my second page done and I'm pretty happy with it all it does is tell the buyer exactly what's included I decided to do black text with a white background just so that way it's really easy to read it looks clean professional simple straightforward and to the point Okay, so now that I have my second page done, I could just post this and be done with it, but I'm going to work smarter, not harder, and I'm gonna show you how. So I'm gonna add a third page, and this third page is actually going to be a page that I can reuse on my future listings. And this is an FAQ page, or a Frequently Asked Questions page. When I first started selling on Etsy, I did not include an FAQ page in my listing covers, and I paid for that mistake with my time. So if you want your digital product business to be truly passive, you should include an FAQ picture on all of your listing covers. That way you don't have to do as much customer service and talking to buyers, because they know exactly what to expect. So for this FAQ page, I'm just gonna completely erase the baby shower template that I had included in the previous pages because I want to be able to include as much text as possible on the screen. I'm going to change the title to FAQ. I'm going to move that title to the top left of my screen and I'm going to get rid of these images that I have here as well as the boxes and the text because all I need is one big box. So I could just make my whole screen white because it's simple and easy to read that way, but I want there to be some sort of consistency from page to page with my listing covers, just because I feel like it looks better that way. So instead of making the whole screen white, I'm just gonna make a big white box and then I'm gonna use that to type out my FAQ. All right, so I have my title, so now all I need to do is actually type out the frequently asked questions and then type out my answers to them. So two questions that I got a lot when my shop was brand new on Etsy were, when will I receive my downloads and how do I edit my downloads? I'm including another question that literally no buyer has ever asked me in the FAQ question though and I'm going to explain exactly why I'm including this last question. So the last question is what should I do if I have questions about my downloads and the reason that I like to put this question on my listing covers is because it encourages buyers to actually message you if they're having an issue instead of just leaving a bad review because they can't figure something out. This is one of the reasons why my shop has a 4.9 rating on Etsy. So I'm just going to go ahead and type under each of these questions the answer to this question. I'm gonna make it straightforward, concise, and as short as possible. Okay, so now I have my frequently asked questions done. I could take some time to make this page look a lot more aesthetically pleasing, but like I said, the most important thing about this page is just getting the information out there and making sure that it's easy to read. So now I have three pages of my listing cover done already. I have my cover page, which is the first page buyers see, and this page really highlights my product. I have my what's included page, so that way buyers can see the value of my product. And then I have my frequently asked questions page, which is a top Etsy digital product seller hack to save myself some time with customer service and bad reviews. So now I'm gonna add one more pro Etsy seller page that a lot of sellers leave out, but I always include on all of my listings. So thinking of this from a customer's perspective, at this point in the buying process, the customer has already been reeled in by your cover page. They've been shown the value of your product on your what's included page, and any questions or concerns they might've had were probably addressed on the FAQ page. At this point, they're probably ready to decide whether or not they're gonna go ahead and make a purchase from you. So as a seller, I wanna do everything in my power to make sure that they do not click off of my page and go on to a different seller's page. So with this last listing cover image, I'm going to seal the deal and make the sale by posting a small discount code to encourage the customers to buy the product. So this is another really easy, simple, quick page to make. Okay, so for the promo code page, I thought that it would be really cute if I put a little coupon icon, but the more that I tried to play around with it, I just felt like the icon kind of clashed with the background of my 
my design. So I scrapped that and I just decided that I wanted to emphasize the promo code itself. So I thought Oh Baby would be a really cute promo code to use since it's a baby shower. So I made sure to make the text for the promo code bolder and larger than the rest of the text on screen. I wanted to make sure that I told the buyer exactly what their discount would be, so I just put that for 5% off at checkout under the promo code itself. I decided to resize my background because I had the idea to put in a little icon since I wasn't using the coupon icon. And I wanted the icon to match the theme of my baby shower template, which was sort of a watercolor natural theme. And I remember that I had this watercolor depiction of a mom animal with her baby animal. So I found this watercolor picture of a mama bear and her baby bear, and I thought that that worked perfectly. And I decided to change the name of the promo code to baby bear just to match the overall theme of my template. Okay, so now I have my final page designed, which is my discount code page. And I just created a random promo code. I decided to call the promo code baby bear because I found this cute little baby bear graphic that went with the theme of the digital product that we created and I think it looks super cute. This is gonna add even more perceived value to your listing and it's gonna make buyers wanna go ahead and purchase the product now instead of clicking off and trying to find a different product. So now I've created some high quality listing covers that are gonna attract potential customers to my shop. So all I need to do is actually download my design and create my listing. You can recreate the exact same listing covers that I made in this video using Canva Pro, but just a fair warning, I know this video is edited, but it took me over two hours to film this. So if you wanna save yourself some time, you can download this exact editable template in the description box below this video, and feel free to customize it to use for your own Etsy listing covers. And this is an editable template, which means that even if you're not selling baby shower evites, you can swap out the picture of the baby shower evite that I use for something different. Once you download your free Canva template for the Etsy listing covers, you're one step closer to becoming a top digital product seller on Etsy. If you wanna know what other steps you should take to become a top seller, you can click the video that's gonna pop up at the end of this one, where I break down my exact step-by-step -step strategy to help you get your first 100 Etsy sales in 30 days. Thanks for watching.